All right. Well, let's see if you can hold on. He is your reigning and defending college bracket champion. We'll explain that here in a minute, but let's get him up here out of the state of Minnesota. It's Easton Fothergill. Two-day total, 34 pounds, seven ounces, five in the bag. To unseat Andrew, you need 15-6. Looking for 15-6. He's got it, 18 pounds and an ounce, and Easton Fothergill takes over the lead with a two-day, to a three-day total of 52-8, and wait till you see this one bass, Eufaula, Oklahoma. If you're watching on live, you know what he's about to pull out of here. Look at that one. All right, let's make it official on the scales, put it in that bag really fast. Phoenix Boat Big Bass right now occupied by Cody Meyer at 613. That's what you need to tie. Is anything longer than that? You got it. Eight pounds, 12 ounces, 812 on that bass. That's new Phoenix Boat Big Bass leader. We are in the lead of this tournament, and it's been a special week. It has been a special week. I don't even know how that happened. Every single day I just made decisions on the fly and just pulled stuff out of nowhere. You know, I was running on the lake, and I'd never fished that spot in the tournament. I'd found it in practice, didn't catch anything on it, but a light bulb just went off like, man, that looked right. And I just pulled in there and first cast, I caught that one. And it was just stuff like that all week long that happened. And I can't believe that happened. I heard you mention on live today. I mean, you kind of had this one circled as just a surviving tournament. And we may walk out of this, this uh, tournament with the victory. <laughs> it's crazy to think about. But yeah, I was, I was really worried about this one, just how tough it is. It's easy to bomb these type of tournaments. But these are also the ones I love, the grinder ones. I, I think, you know, you got to be mentally strong. And I think that's where I strive. So... I want to get in the head a little bit. You said that spot where you caught the eight pounder, it just looked right. What made it look right? What were the keys this week oh, that you started focusing in on? The keys this week was rock, uh, rock and wood, but mainly rock, and it had to have immediate deep water access. Um, that point was just slow tapering, but on one side was a super sharp, sharp break, and it just had nice basketball-sized boulders on top of it. And when I rolled up there, I panned up there with the with the forward face sonar, and they were just dotted up like a ledge, and I was like, this is insane. And then, then to catch that one out of it is even crazier, so it's just crazy week. All right, so let's get a shameless bass plug in. You're, you're donning this jersey, but he got this via the classic bracket win. Again, we put the College Series puts one angler into the Bassmaster Classic, and with that victory comes the full use of a Nitro Z20. It's got all the works on it, full use of a Toyota Tundra for the whole year, burst into the EQs, and not to mention a berth into the Bassmaster Classic. So because you're a collegiate angler and you were the number one collegiate angler, here you are standing, and you may be taking on $43,000 because of it. Yeah, I was talking about that with my cameraman on the way in. I would not be here if it wasn't for that tournament. It, it changed my life for sure. Financially, I would not be able to do this if it wasn't for that tournament. So just huge thank you to Bassmaster for providing that opportunity for us kids to compete. And, yeah, I'm, I'm just so grateful. One other thing, if you don't know his story, they won the team of the year last year, he and his partner, and then they punched their ticket to the bracket. But then after that, you tell it much better than I do. I, I'll give the 30,000-foot view, but he had to have brain surgery and didn't even know if he was going to be able to fish in that bracket we're able to get medically cleared after that, fish in that bracket, and uh, here you are now. It's, it's been a crazy ride since then. It's been, a, it's been a godsend for sure. Everything since that moment has felt so easy, at least in fishing, and it's just stuff like this has happened constantly from then on. So it's, it's like God just grabbed my shoulders and said, I got you. Well, we got a few more to go, so we don't know what's going to happen. But isn't that awesome? Let's hear it one more time for Easton. Have a seat. One more round of applause for Andrew Loberg. Easton, step on over. You follow, are you ready is the question because it's about to go down. All right, let's let Allen get back up here. We don't want to work him too hard. All right, he rolled out in the lead. His two-day total was 34 pounds and 12 ounces. He's a former Bass Team champion. Let's welcome him to the stage out of Colorado, Mr. Ty Faber. All right, Ty, we got four in the bag to unseat Easton. You need 17-13. If it's anything lighter than that, Easton Fothergill is headed to the Classic for two straight years. Again, 34-12 through your two days. Looking for 17-13. Eight pounds and 12 ounces. That means Easton Fothergill is going to be your champion. Ty, thank you. And let's get the hardware up here while it's going strong. This only happened twice. Trisha McCormick did it. He was a college bracket champion, went on to win the Hartwell Open that very next year, and now you have done that. You're going to be a, 
a bracket champion and then turn around the very next year and win an Open. To be in uh, company with Tristan McCormick is definitely super cool to hear. I really look up to him, and, yeah, that's, that's, I can't believe that. Well, here you go. I know that bracket is special, but this trophy is a little bit bigger. And you follow Oklahoma. Let's get loud for your champion, representing all college anglers, and now leading the points in the Tackle Warehouse Bassmaster Elite, Elite Qualifier. Easton Fothergill is going to be your champion here at Lake Eufaula. And again, we talked about it. You want to get another one, Andy, before I talk to him? Yep, let's get it over the head. Let's get the, let's get the trophy hoist. Second and third, don't go anywhere either. We've got uh, trophies for you too. All right, you follow us here for him one more time. And we talked about it. I mean, your story is something. I mean, to have brain surgery... And then to turn around and, and win the bracket and qualify and punch your ticket to the EQs. And now we're going home with some hardware. And now you're exiting out of here leading the Tackle Warehouse Elite Qualifier points. I mean, it's, it's, it's less than, I mean, I'll call it a miracle. I know you probably won't, but that's, it's just something. <laughs> it's crazy. But I was just, I was thinking all day today. When I caught my fifth keeper, I was like, okay, I got some more EQ points. Like I had, I had no clue how long almost a nine pounder would go. I guess I haven't weighed in enough of them or something, but. Oh, uh, I can't believe it. So at the beginning of the week, if I told you we we're going to give you an 812, an 8-pound, eight 12-ounce bass on this lake. <laughs> it's, it's insane. I, I can't believe it. When that thing launched like four feet out of the water, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what happened. I'll have to watch the video. <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say you've not only survived the southern swing, you've thrived in the southern swing, and now we set our sights up north. Yeah, I can't wait to go up north. It's a little bit cooler out. Uh, it's I don't know. It's not going to be any easier, though. I'll still have to catch them every time. These guys are so good, I cannot let up. So we got a little bit of a wild card. A lot of this field has not. 153 EQs have never been to this lake called Leech Lake, but I think you have. I live about 30 minutes from there, but you give all these guys five days of practice, they're going to find just about everything. So Anybody you forget about, you want to say higher thanks to? The big thanks I have is my, my family drove down from Minnesota last night to watch this, so and I, I, I can't believe they did that. I, I love them so much. One more time. Hold it high, Easton Fothergill. I need you to get loud. One more time, you follow for your champion. It's been a fantastic tournament. All right, Easton, you can go celebrate.